Hello guys and girls, Philip here with Street Photography Diaries and today we're going to talk about some little things that you can apply to make your street photography just consistently better. So I'm going to try to make it as concise as possible because who am I to waste your time? And I'm a big proponent of 80-20 rule where you do 20% of stuff to get 80% of results. So let's start. So there's three things I'm going to talk about in this video. And the first one is, are you ready? Are you ready? It's be ready. So being ready is, I think, pinnacle uh, of what's important in street photography. And uh, imagine yourself deciding to do street photography, going outside, you see a really nice street scene that is worth capturing, and your camera is not uh, around your wrist, it's not around your neck, it's in your backpack, you take off your backpack, you search for it, take it out, wrong lens, change your lens, wrong settings, change the settings, so photo opportunity is gone, far gone, so you have to be ready. And to be ready, of course, have camera on you, right? Not in your backpack. Second of all, you have to have preset uh, settings. And to not make it so complicated for you, I'm gonna just include my settings. So what's my day-to-day -day, uh, go-to camera settings for street photography? And that will be shutter speed 250, aperture f8, and ISO, I just put it on auto. You can change all these uh, according to weather conditions, lighting condition, all the above, but this is what I use uh, mostly. And also one other thing you can use is to preset the focus and distance on your lens. So this takes a little bit of practice, but when you preset your lens for maybe three or five meters, after a while, you get good at just estimating the distance of your subject from your lens and you end up not even having to look at the viewfinder and knowing that your images are gonna look good and in focus. So yeah, that's enough about being ready in camera settings. I hope you got the point. So what's number two? So number two is I think equally as important as number one, which is you have to know what you're looking for. You have to have a plan of what kind of images you want to achieve that day. And you can wander around all day in the city, but without a goal, you can't really score. So if you're new to this and you're not sure what kind of concept uh, should you use for your photographs, you can always look at my older videos that I've done on challenges. Uh, for example, uh, someday you'll just do black and white photography, someday you'll just do silhouettes of people, someday you'll just do uh, images where the aperture is wide. So you get the point. The sets of images have to have certain theme and then that gives it value. And in the end, you can even enter a competition when you have some kind of set that is uh, really good. Uh, quality. So I hope you got the point. And that brings us to number three. Now, what's number three? It's very obvious. Know your camera. So you don't want to fumble around your camera when you see a good photo opportunity. You have to know without even looking where all the knob switches, buttons and, and settings on your camera are. You have to be comfortable with your camera, whether you're using an iPhone or you're using uh, a top-notch high-end camera that's very expensive, uh, you have to know what it can do and how you can use it the best. And when you know that, uh, nothing can stop you from taking a perfect image. And having said all that, I just want to repeat what we learned today or <laughs> what I said today. Uh, number one, be ready. Number two, have your concept ready. And number three, know your camera. With these three things, you'll go very far. And I'm not saying you're gonna be a professional photographer just knowing these three things, 
but your images are going to be progressively, consistently better and better. And that's, in the end, what you really want as a beginner or intermediate as, as I am. So in the end, thank you for watching this video and I really hope you got some value out of it. And if you want to support the channel, you can always subscribe, like the video because it really helps the algorithm and uh, you can comment, which is my favorite because I love reading comments. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.